Sorry, we're starting a little late. I appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, uh, my flight got delayed this morning. That, that never happens, right? <laughs> uh, all right. But who here uh, is familiar with salt? So, okay, who's heard of salt? Let me start earlier. Okay, excellent. Uh, so who here has installed salt before and used it a little bit? Okay, good. Who here has deployed salt in a, in, uh, uh, in a non-production environment? Production environment? All right, I know where to start then. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, uh, Sebastian, you said f four hours, so that means that uh, I've got you guys till one. I thought it was three hours, but that's okay. I've actually got four days of content that I brought with me, so we should be fine regardless. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to be doing uh, for this tutorial is that SaltStack has uh, three training courses uh, that, we, that we give out, and so I'm going to be navigating through the early introduction components of the first training, uh, that will go through installation, high level of what SALT is, and then move into the remote execution components of SALT, and then follow that up with a deeper dive into configuration management. And then if we have time, uh, I'm going to be walking through the cloud stack uh, states uh, that are available up on our formulas repository on GitHub. Okay. But that should hopefully address the needs of the audience well. Now, uh, really quickly, a few things uh, to, to introduce myself quickly. Uh, Sebastian said it well, but I'm the guy who started writing SaltStack. I'm always thrilled to give tutorials and talks. I don't get to as much anymore because I'm too busy running a company. <laughs> but, uh, but this is a lot of fun, so I am very appreciative that I can come out. <clears throat> 